I have found a very interesting place, and if you watched my previous video, um, I, all I did, this, this is actually record-breaking, almost, but there was priming to that, but every single day, something like that resets, I would say, you know, the amount of effort you have to put in to get banned, kind of resets. So this one I got banned with one message in a particular day, technically. Well, it's a little bit too tough to say because these work differently. There's different timelines or whatever. Uh, but it's so out of context that I would just say I got banned for one message. But this is like, this is like next level. Like, I, I wouldn't even expect that. I wouldn't even fucking expect this ban. Like, this is next level. Expected, expected, expected. Kind of. I got kicked out. I get... Nobody said anything. Nobody said anything in any time. And you guys want to fucking talk with YouTube? You guys fucking want to talk with YouTube authorities? Nobody says anything when they ban people. Nobody talks to them. Nobody gives a fuck, man. And out of all places, out of all places that should have given a fuck, ooh, YouTubers Unite didn't give a fuck, man. Oh my god. What did I do? Should I spoil you? You don't want to watch the six hour episode that I released? Okay, no problem. <laughs> I know that you don't. Uh, oh, I copied and pasted this. All evil has to be stopped because you don't know how big it is. I posted a mm, drum roll, please. A principle. <laughs> wow, where did you get that one from the principal's office? That's a good reaction, isn't it? A ban, straight up ban. <laughs> If you don't give a fuck about small YouTubers, what the fuck are you doing? Consuming souls? What the fuck are you doing, man? Who gives these people power? Discord, man. Discord is fucked, man. That Discord encourages non-democracy, basically. Dictatorship. Holy fucking shit, man. But, obviously... The real question is, and, and when you get banned, it's game over, dude. You can't complain. You can't do shit, man. YouTube is the only place I can shit on right now and be like, hey, guys, I'm getting banned on Discord. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing to not get banned? Sucking each other's cocks, man? Is it that easy? I'm not going to do that. I just, I'm not a slave, okay? I'm not... You know, anti-matrix type of guy, like Andrew Tate, but I'm also kind of don't want to be a slave either, you know, like, come on, man. It, it would suck ass if I, if I spend my life just wasting it, you know. And these were, like, really nasty people immediately. The, ver the second day I'm talking, no, the first day I look at everything, it's like, it's filled with bots. Telling that, oh, someone just joined the server or whatever. And there's a huge text of that. Just that. Now they just kind of cleaned that up. So the second day I come in, I'm like, okay. Uh, I don't, I don't re even remember, but it ends with the fucking... The, the gif of a grave, basically. You can see that. I, I scroll through that on the, uh, on the previous video. Oh, what are you going to do when you retire? Oh, uh, die. Mm, very interesting. <sighs> like, these people are so beyond fixing or understanding or comprehending or ta even taking advantage of. I can't even do that. I can't do none of those things. Burn in hell, please. Oh, my God. Where did you come from, dude? Are you fucking serious? 
It was that easy. I copy and pasted a message. No big deal, right? It's not like I'm flooding anything. Not unlike attacking anyone. I copied and pasted a message. It literally has nothing to do with anything ever. Nothing, man. How offended do I have to be, man? Words, man. Words kill people, apparently. I type in worlds and they kill themselves. Dude, I, I can't take it anymore. I have to save my community from words. The worst thing that could happen to me are just a little bit of words. And, like, completely random, too. Like, nothing really serious. Like, I just talked about evil, man. What does that mean? <laughs> he used the word evil. And he, he didn't use the word Elon Musk at the same sentence. What is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. You gotta be shitting me, man. This is the shittiest stack of bullshit I've ever seen, man. And it's so consistently, like, retarded. Like, these people are actually retarded. These people have to be in prisons now for how stupid they are. Because, but like, okay, it's a playground. Fine, make me angrier. Pretend that it's China and you have the power of censorship. All right, let's pretend that. Nothing bad's gonna happen when <laughs> people are gonna figure out you're a communist piece of garbage. And not, they're not gonna get angry, you know? Nobody's get angry. Let's see what you're gonna do then, dude. Let's see what the fuck you do. Because this, out of all servers, this one can be damaged tremendously. Holy fucking moly, you have YouTube channels upon YouTube channels. You can come and invade over and over and over and over and over. Make me angry, guys. How happy will I be, man? Over and over and over, man. Now YouTube has to step in and actually ban these people who will invade over and over. They will not stop, man. There, there's another... Not, that. We will wipe off everyone, dude. We'll make everyone angry. No problem, dude. You don't like me. I will don't like you. But I'm professional hater. I'm not fucking loser troll on the internet, some random fucking dude. I'm professional. I know what I'm fucking doing because it's happening to me too much and I have to think about it every single fucking day. How do I troll people to fucking death? Fucking death! I'm not gonna be a good guy anymore, dude! Fucking feed me, dude! I need fucking food! All I have is wood. Now I eat souls. Now let me upgrade my food. I eat souls. Please stop me. When everyone gets upgraded to a not food item, war begins! Fucking war begins, assholes! So, uh, I give up. My wood just got exchanged into souls. Let's see how many souls we can fucking eat. There's no souls to eat. So let me upload an emoji of souls. No, e pretty easy, dude. Oh, wait. I will eat the entirety of YouTube. Everything I can eat, I will begin. No problem. You just gave me a green light. Actually, you gave me a red light, and I smashed it. Immediately. Uh, and I, I left this triangle inside. So now it looks like YouTube. I couldn't actually destroy the red light. But I could turn it into YouTube. <sighs> you fucking kidding me? Now these people are evil. And they need to face real evil to see that their evil is actually tiny and pathetic. Fuck me, dude! Holy fuck! The 
evil runs fucking rampant. And I have limited amount of time, dude. I have like f three years, maybe five years. Maybe my mom is, is able to die at any moment. And it's going to be reduced to one year or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So I got to fucking hurry up and kill these demons, man. Fucking kill them demons. Everywhere. Everyone, everywhere, all the time, man. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Holy shit. You don't ban these people, man. You don't fucking ban. You fucking talk them down. Holy crap! Until they fucking find Jesus! Holy shit! This is gonna be the best Christmas present for you guys! You'll find Jesus! I don't even know what the fuck that is! Holy fuck, man! Oh, fucking hell! You can trigger me once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times is too much, man! Don't you fucking think from everyone? Oh, every small YouTuber has decided to do that? No! There was a dictator that decided to do that! A dictator who felt really bad, so he made did something bad! That's not how you do things! That is not how you do things, dude! When you feel bad, you try fucking harder! Fucking asshole! Holy shit, man! Cause your feelings mean nothing! Feelings are not fucking facts! But the facts you fucking did! You fucking banned me now! Holy fuck! I didn't even give a fuck about the stupid server! I didn't give about none of these servers! But I do give a fuck of what people do to me! That is very important to me, you pieces of shit! Holy crap, just ignore me! You don't like me, just ignore me! It's gonna hurt either way, dude! But it's gonna hurt over time, not immediately! Not being punched in the face! I can do that too, dude! No problem, I have a fist! No problem, dude! Fuck off! You know, this this is <sighs> my stupidity is power. I found this one. Generally Let's see if it makes me even angrier. Will I keep subscribing to this channel? They're being perceived as stupid. Often, stupid people are looked down upon and laughed at. Rightfully so. A actually, not laughed at. You don't deserve to be laughed at. Or you being deserve to rip ripped apart and steal your soul. No problems there. I can do that. Now I can do that. I have the right to. Ban me a fucking age time. The moment this guy bans me? Holy shit. You must understand... This shit grows exponentially. Cause I'm not in hundreds of servers right now. Nah, -uh. I pick and choose slowly and carefully. And I have to actually dig deep. Dig deep to find a Discord channel. I'm, I don't know where you get all these hundreds of Discord channels right now. I don't know what, th what that is. All right, when I find one, I really appreciate one. But people don't. Don't read between the lines! <laughs> Have you read a book? Have you touched a grass? Have you been underground? Buried alive? Cause you will be! Cause things... <sighs> you know, okay, you, you never done that, you never done that, might as well, you know? Then the last, last experience that you need to experience is the worst one! Just pure death, man! Cause you... If, if you just spread your fucking death everywhere, dude. Like, it's nothing. Oh, oops. I wonder what's gonna happen then, dude. And this is the funniest, shittiest thing, dude. All evil has to be stopped because you don't know how big it is. I am evil technically right now. 
Can someone stop me? Probably not, because you're too ignorant to do that. But holy shit, you can probably stop these assholes from being an asshole. Alright? These are small evils. My evil, I can stop myself anytime I want. I will prove it to you guys. I don't know how to prove... Do, do I punch myself in the face? <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's, let's eat some souls. Society perceives stupid people as useless, as a burden, rather... I care about people. I genuinely do. If you put effort, I care. The moment you cut me off, I still care. The moment you leave, or ban me, or distance yourself from me, I still care. Alright? No, no problem. This video... I'm caring right now. I'm very much caring. All right. Scariest, sn scariest name of all time. Not evil though. Karen. Okay. Make videos about me. How much I'm caring. Cause this is gonna get worse. This is gonna go to real life situations, man. You're gonna find me on TikTok, caring on people. Holy fuck, man, dude. <sighs> Pull out your phone. Me caring now. Me scream at you now, no problem there. But the, but the, I'll I'll gonna go viral because I actually make sense. So that's gonna hurt. Your brain is gonna you you're probably gonna be like maybe I shouldn't post that because that will make me look bad. Because everyone cares about self image right now. And this this will make me look mad. <laughs> Get rid of that one. Eat souls, eat souls, eat slavery. You deserve it! You deserve to be bought, fucked, and being enslaved! That's what you deserve! You deserve for the government to come down and be like, Oh, you don't actually exist, so let me make you exist. Go to a fucking factory, work 12 hours every single day, and then you will exist. You will have the right to exist. Congratulations, ignorant little piece of shit. You have completed your task of existing in the most pathetic way possible. I hope that's what you wanted. All right? Because being ignorant is definitely a bliss. So, Mr. Stupidity's power. This is the proof. He says stupidity's power. What kind of power is that? Mm-hmm. You have 1.6 million subscribers. You should be careful what the fuck you post. Priceless. You telling me stupidity is gold. I make videos like that. Very, very interesting. I try really fucking hard not to be hypocritical. But for fuck's sake, someone comes in and says stupidity is power. How will you explain that in stupid ways? All right, is stupi stupidity is just as powerful as being smart? Probably not. So it's bullshit. You take the better choice. There is no choice either. Oh, I can be stupid at the same time as being smart. Fuck this bullshit, man. can highly relate to this. Also, I want to uh, find a person that will punch me in the face and make me smart, actually. I'm unsubscribing. Very nice. One of the reasons I stopped arguing with people or trying to convince them. No, there is no principle that you have to argue with people. That would be stupid! So instead you chose stupidity as power by not being stupid? And that's how you relate to the video? What the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. The melting brain effect, dude. You realize the stupidity is legendary. Legendary difficulty, guys. Holy shit. You go to every Discord server, <laughs> you go to the first cave, first cave, fucking bandits, 
Level 30. You're level 2. You're like, what the fuck do I do, man? Everyone's level 30 already. What the fuck is this? How do I kill a bandit? <laughs> it's the first cave. What the fuck, man? Hence, most of us try to prevent ourselves from appearing stupid in front of co-workers, fellow students, family members, and friends. And sometimes we try to appear much smarter than we are, just so people hold us in high esteem, just so people won't think of us as stupid. We have oh, so that's what's going on? Now that's nice. Alright, that, that is nice. People try to hide their stupidity by all costs, by all means necessary, boys. I can smell stupid from a mile away. It's everywhere. No, no need. No need to act smart. No need to try. Mm -hmm. Do what you want. Just improve slowly. Then you'll be the smartest person in the universe. All right. The moment you stop improving, I'll ask questions. The moment you go negative, I'll beat you up. The moment you stay negative, I'll leave you. The moment you spread negative, I'll fucking destroy you! Easy! Easy math! No problems there! I attach much importance to what other people think about us, how they see us, and their opinions. Philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer put it like this at the start of his work, The Wisdom oh, of Life. Why did you flip him? By a peculiar weakness of human nature, people generally think too much about the opinion which others form of them. All Fuck off with your opinion, nobody cares. Them. We don't want them to think we're dumb, but because we emphasize what you are dumb. You fucking dumb. Desire to be liked. I hope you, you like being dumb, dude. Be willing to be seen as the fool to get ahead. Undoubtedly, there's a difference between acting stupid and actually being stupid. Both have benefits, and the examples in this piece apply to both. This video explores the power of stupidity, the blessing of- So before it happens, why would this person upload a video like that? Why would we be stupid enough to think that? I honestly don't know. I literally don't know. I would pay to know the answer if I- if I was a, a rich person, I would pay this guy. Okay, okay. It's a very interesting question. I'm very intrigued. But if you're stupid, you're gonna give me tenfold. I'm betting 1,000 bucks, man. <laughs> no, I do have some money, actually. We can bet. But he doesn't exist. So, I can't. I can't bet against him. Because he doesn't exist, and now he's identifying as stoop, stupid, priceless. Mm -hmm. People generally fear being perceived as stupid. Often, stupid people are looked down upon and laughed at. He literally just copied pasted his fucking script. Fucking moron! The moron! And why being a fool pays? It pays you money. It pays you fame, and it pays you hammer in the face the moment you face the wrath of gods. Easy! No problems there. You get pity points for being stupid, but if you keep going that way, if you keep not trying to not be stupid, if you embrace stupidity, the moment you embrace how crippled you are is the moment you lose everything immediately. Thank you for watching, pieces of shit. Holy crap. For those who love but we will finish the video. Maybe we'll find some prisoners in there. I see one right now. Of reading, Eintel Ganger just released a new compilation book. You can't release Rules, the prisoner? Letting stuff go. Which you will let them go, piece of shit! Contains a selection of essays, revised and edited for print, exploring ways to let go of the many attachments of daily life. Like you! Lose is available on Amazon as a paperback. Please lose everything now! Give it to me! A little bit. 
and then give it to everyone else who also will have to lose everything to feel bad about themselves because they fucking deserve it. And ebook. Links below. One. People don't expect much of you. Appear weak when you are strong. Ro Is that what happened? The people appeared weak, but one of them was able to ban me. Is that what happened? They appear weak, but you will never know when they strike. And they they struck like ten years ago. I don't know why. Now now we know. Now it's part of the history. So uh, we do know when they strike. Appear weak. No, the story doesn't end even after they strike. What if a person strikes back? Oh! Appear weak. No one is gonna expect that you are actually strong. No, if you appear weak, nobody gotta, gotta give a fuck! At all! Not even a little bit anymore! Nowhere you're gonna be so invisible, you will cry yourself to death! You'll keep crying! After death, probably! People are gonna dig up your grave, and it's gonna be flooded with tears! Where did that come from? Where- What the fuck is that? It's gonna be the greatest mystery of all time. Appear weak! That's the- exactly what a stupid person is trying to do to appear smart, right? What the fuck? Why are you a hypo hypocritical piece of shit right now? You appear very strong, and you are very weak. That's a very different life that, that you're trying to fucking project onto people, aren't you? Also, appear weak is not something you want to say to other people unless you're trying to beat them up right now. Alright. Hey dude, appear weak. Oh, okay. You weak, boy. Boom. Ancient military strategist Sun Tzu in his Yeah, the strategist too was very good. Hey guys, appear weak. I appear weak because I am weak. There's no- You can't trick people! You can't fucking trick people, okay? But yes, when people trigger me, I will give my all, all of it, to try and survive. If I get attacked, if I get jumped, I have to give it all. I either run or fight to, with my life, dude. I'll have to make that choice. Obviously, the best choice, you'll first run, if they catch you, you'll fight to death, but still expect yourself that you will find a way to run away. There's a... There's a person I'm missing on TikTok, but I still remember. Uh, a self-defense instructor. I'll watch more of him in case I feel threatened when, when I go outside. Because I will have to go outside and uh, look into people's faces, not touch grass, no. That meme, uh, it's, it's not for me. But uh, look into people's faces, man. Also, uh, why are you saying appear weak after you have uh, hostages in your basement, Word, dude? The art of war. If someone appears weaker than he is, people will underestimate him, which could be a strategic advantage. But does this also apply to... If someone appears weaker, then uh, there's a lot of questions to be to be asked. And actually, appearing weak is a way of being very strong also. Wait, what? Wait, what? How? How's the window this size and the video is this size and they both fit these are different sizes man i don't know man to stupidity and intelligence is it wise to appear stupid when you are smart consider the character of yoda a powerful jedi in the star wars movie. okay so one benefit i i'll give you that if you appear stupid you will not be banned probably but the moment you will copy and paste a principle, which is the most powerful thing in the universe, uh, you will be banned, because now you're smart. 
So, uh, that's the benefit? Is that the benefit you're talking about? Priceless, man. Priceless, you can influence these people for the rest of your life as long as you're up here weak and stupid and pathetic and a loser. From that, per from that point of view, you will try and influence these people? They're gonna eat you alive, dude! Eat you alive! This person? This Yoda thingy? Fucking smash it! Smash it with a hammer! Easy! You hear some force? You don't look like I have force! Unless he uses internet, then, uh, I'll be shitting my pants. Cause they're Yoda forever. But if I meet him in real life, and he his force is just a magic trick, man, this Green Goblin is is losing losing some. Uh, he has big ears, so he's gonna lose those. All right, and he's gonna miss them very much. But he's old, so I would feel bad for him. So why would I bully an old person? That would just uh, you know ruin my reputation for no reason. Movies, who acts like an old, primitive, but curious fool living in obscurity on the swamp covered planet of Dagobah when he meets Luke Skywalker for the first time. We later find out that his facade was a way of learning about Luke's character and morals. No, you learn by being nasty to them. Yes, you can investigate. As long as you're curious, you're probably gonna be nice to people or whatever. To some extent. But, uh... You will have to cause drama at the same time. At some point in time, you'll have to cause drama. you have to go beyond being stupid and uh, reveal yourself before it's too late. You know? Before you are completely underestimated. And, uh, they really don't expect you to do anything interesting anymore. It's fucking fantastic, man. If you don't give me a chance, then nothing is gonna happen, boy. That's what I feel when I think about my classmates or whatever. It doesn't feel like they give me a chance, they want to interact with me either. It feels like I'm banned again. And, uh... But I will never know. I don't want to know that. I don't want to look at them as evil, too. And they cannot ban me from anything because they don't own anything. But, I love it, man. I love how, like, anytime someone will say, but, uh, sh people shouldn't be banned without uh, debating uh, YouTube uh, officials. And I'll give seven examples when that just doesn't, doesn't fucking work very well. The Antwenem example is not very good. Because I... I was able to spend a lot of time, make a lot of friends, and I was debating the person who banned me. It was fucking fantastic experience. So Antwenum experience, top notch. I can't hate on Antwenum anymore. Um, so because he's the best in being the worst, and I call him, I don't call him Bandwenum actually. Keep your name, boy. You might need one. Alright. So Antoine is actually the most moral of them all. Alright. If you want a good server. Or try his patience. Or as, as it is right now. Let's see what happens. You know, He's smart too. So there's, there's no reason for him not to be moral. Right? But stupid people. Oh no. Appearing stupid is like fine. You know. You don't want to threaten people. Uh, you don't want to intimidate people. Uh, you're just like... You're just curious. But that's not stupidity at all. You're just asking questions, technically. So, what, what, what's going on? What is that? What is moon? What do you mean by saying uh, book? I don't know what book is. TV? I've heard of TV. Is, that, is it a tube viewer? Where where you t tube, something like that. The the red thing you click on that and uh, you watch watch content. That's TV. What is that? What is TV? People have to explain things to me, man. 
So it's, uh, it's a tough one. Is he impatient? Is he kind? Is the dark side strong in him, as is the case with his father, Anakin? Or does he lean more toward... I don't give a f man. I would rather die, man. And it's almost like, that is a hypocritical thing to say for a smart person. I would rather die. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. If I'm smart and I'm being disrespected, I will leave and leave you in this hellhole. As a smart person, you can change the world. As a smart person, you can invent something like a smartphone. All right, for everyone to chew on and become a little bit smarter. You want that? Then keep me alive, idiot. It's simple, dude. And you will not keep me alive by sending me money, but sending me money is a gesture of kindness. Where are you gonna send money to? I can't use PayPal. No one can use PayPal anymore. So how are you fucking gonna do that? People, if you send money to my bank, my bank is gonna be like, oh, money. <laughs> Free money. No, obviously, something is possible. But we have to act fast and figure out how to fucking build this decentralized bullshit system of money exchange at least. That would be very nice. So, uh... Will be ni very nice for the entire world. This is the first thing I would want to fix, if possible. Actually create a proper, trustworthy Bitcoin thingy. So I will investigate that next year, not not this month. Not while the end, end of the year is happening. But uh, I'll investigate if... But what am I going to investigate? Like, am I going to create my own shitcoin? That nobody's gonna care about because everyone is just uh, frustrated already by the amount of scams and evil in the world that these shit coins have provided. That's the problem. That's the real problem. How do you convince people? The best thing to do is uh, actually convince people that this, this is trustworthy. I can even like uh, make sure people know how to navigate the system and put enough tutorials onto this so in case you do something weird you have to explain yourself of why you did it and all the logs just gonna go up be uploaded on the internet so if you want to be truly be trustworthy you have to click the button turn go online basically and send stuff online and i will collect your data and if you're too scared to do that then uh fuck you dude all right you are worth nothing. But if you do that, I will pay you. Alright. But I still need to know how to pay you. So, there's still a problem. So the first thing that has to happen, people have to recognize, this is worthwhile. Their attention, so they buy this program from me. What I am going to be selling is consultation. If you can figure out how to use this on your own, that's fine. But a lot of people will not know how to do this. Even after watching the tutorial, I'll have to sit there for hours just explaining them individually how to use this. Because it's very important. So uh, that they know everything and maybe they will offer me features that they need. You know, and I'll make sure that that happens. And uh, we shake hands and... He gives me a fucking hundred bucks. Fantastic, dude. Good job. Um, that's it, man. That's my business model, right? For now. Maybe in five years, new Bitcoin is going to be released. I'll keep progressing slowly. There's no need to rush. No need to shitcoin. Board the light side. Acting stupid can reveal a lot about someone's character, which is a strategic advantage. More so because we obtain information about them. Maybe we don't need that information because that person is also stupid. Be quicker than that. Alright? We don't need information about stupid people. I don't need to manipulate people. I'm not an evil person, dude. While leaving ourselves in the dark. When people perceive us as less than we are, they might... The most heartbreaking thing is uh, when, when people leave you because you're too intense, but they realize that their heart just has been broken and they miss you for some reason. That's the most heartbreaking thing. 
because now they're confused. They don't know what to do. You know, they don't want to come back. They don't, like, just completely obliterated. And, uh, I'll... I have open arms, open doors. You can come back. No problem. I'm just saying. So, uh... I will never, ever ban a person. I will cripple them, beat them up. I don't have to ban them. No need. It's the worst thing you can do. Just kick someone out. Make them homeless, pretty much. That's what happens. They become homeless. So if, when you jump into Discord, the first thing to do, talk to yourself as much as possible. Make your own goddamn Discord is the only thing you will have in the end. And you can have uh, uh, some special Discord where you can't actually chat, because I can't chat here, but it's Rebecca Black, dude. I gotta suck that dick, man. That dick is a is a big juicy one. All right, it it is in my mouth twenty four seven. Nothing I can do about that. But once Rebecca Black is defeated by someone, and she's like the the low hanging fruit right now, if she gets defeated, I still might not leave the server. Because it's now still a vanity thing. She she can't be defeated. She can't be deleted. She's way too high, man. She's way too on drugs right now. Let their guard down, overshare, and don't see us as a threat as they underestimate our capability. Like, these are the questions you have to ask before you ban someone. It's like, wait, do you have a home? Dude, I, don't, I really don't like you. I don't want to kick you out if you don't have a home. Or friends. Uh, and I'll be thank you, I'll do whatever it takes to keep myself alive. Please don't ban me. The moment someone bans, says I can ban you, I'll be like begging him, please don't ban me, I'm a good person, I swear. I didn't meant to post nasty things that people would be triggered by, even though I didn't say any nasty words whatsoever. Of course I will not fucking beg for... <sighs> to stay. I'll just say, Hey dude, you want war? I know how to fight war. Do you know how to fight war? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you can press that button, but you're also pressing Declare War button at the same time. It's kind of mixed in with the ban button. I don't know why. I don't know why there's uh, this functionality in there, but... For some reason, guys. I, I, who's, who thought about it? Who's that stupid? To mix two buttons like that together. Ban someone and declare war? That's the... Cr ridiculous. There are some banned people. And uh, I will unban them. Right now. I actually unbanned... Uh, no reason provided, but they know the reason. They they asked for it. They started flooding my uh, channel as little kids. But now I probably would be able to handle that, you know. But again, I cannot like mute them from every single channel. There's a lot of channels to flood. All right, and I just want them to flood this one place, fake chat. If they're flooding somewhere else, then uh, we have a problem, dude. But technically, flooding is unacceptable and unnecessary. And I don't know what kind of place it has. I don't have a pool. I don't know how to swim, dude. I just don't know, man. What do I do? So technically, that, that's not going to work. Abilities. They will not perceive us as competition either. Of course, acting stupid is a form of manipulation. Okay. Of course? That's not of course. It's not always a fact. Uh, what? Manipulation? Acting, st acting stupid is just a roll, dude! 
Just a fucking role, you're not even manipulating people, just acting a role. You don't have an intention to manipulate people. How stupid is this person, dude? You fucking run a channel for like years, dude. Who the fuck are you, man? Every single stadium is like ass. One year ago. Let's see how old this guy is. Two years. We will see how old he is by the most popular videos. Oh, he's pretty young. Three years old. Okay. I'll give that to you. There's a difference, right? If he's just a three-year-old, why should I beat this guy up? I am uh, 11 years on YouTube, guys. 11. The Since the inception of... Uh, Adventure Craft, basically. I started uploading. 11 years on YouTube. Let's see if I can find the video for you guys. Bug Adventure Craft AC Gurnext. Report bug 11 years ago. To be more specific, this is my first video I ever uploaded. September 29. Hi to everyone who wanted to see the first video uploaded. Here you go, boys. This is for you. Eat it. The first one, all right. A bug report. A bug report that actually Cracked cared about. Cracked Adventure Craft was successful. Guess why? Because Cracked gave a fuck, man. And now I understand why he would just give up. Now it makes total sense, but at the same time it doesn't make sense. Please come back on YouTube, dude. Cry, please, upload stuff. I'm still subscribed, by the way. I will never stop waiting. If, you, if you're if you smart enough to, to do AdventureCraft, you're smart enough to start uploading YouTube videos, and then you're gonna be like, wow, I can actually do something, something with this YouTube thingy. Or are you gonna come up with some crazy ideas that you wanna do? Or are you just gonna download my game, and you're gonna be like, wow, I inspired this guy. A little bit. I'm not sure how much, but uh, I started his career, you know, and now now he went so far and maybe even outraced me with his ideas. I want Crank to Crank to come back. Okay, we gotta hunt him down. I know he's still active. I've heard about it, like Twitter or something. <laughs> Twitter's not a good place to be active, but you know, pick your poison and might conflict with one's morality, especially if we use it to cause harm. When playing dumb, people might also underestimate your capacity for evil and be more forgiving of mistakes. For example, in Japan, a collectivist nation with strict social standards, its citizens are expected to conform to many rules and etiquette. Hence, Japanese people are generally concerned with other people's opinions and anxious about falling by the wayside. During Japanese. COVID, for example, even after the point masks weren't mandatory anymore, the majority still wore them and still do at the time this video is published, mainly not to stand out from the crowd and be frowned upon by other Japanese people. However, when you're a foreigner in Japan, the Japanese tend to be much more forgiving about not conforming to the standard, as the foreigner is most likely oblivious to the local conventions of a strange country. Hence, we could say, by analogy, that the fool gets a pass in many situations in which the smart person doesn't. A fool most likely didn't do it on purpose. He simply didn't know any better. 2. A different perspective. 
By the way, I just phased out. I, I don't know what he said. I literally didn't give a fuck. Likely oblivious to the local conventions of a... Yeah, likely oblivious. I am. <laughs> I literally can't follow your fucking... Active. When we're too set in our ways and thinking patterns, or when we're highly skilled and experienced, we might suffer from a limited perspective. Because of this limited perspective, we tend to be blind. Did he anim animate all of this, or did he enslave someone to animate this? Also, in three years, getting uh, 1.6 million subs is uh, pretty uh, crazy. Well, Pity Party is going strong right now. I feel pity for every single YouTuber right now, because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. And their channel's going down, man. Going down. There's, there is going to be a dead end for these fucking idiots. And they're going to turn around and going to see me. It's like, what the fuck am I playing Temple Run? Run, guys! There's a big boy in there who's waiting to steal your subs. Alright, first, first your subs, then your souls, man. Once you run out of that shit. So keep throwing subs while you still have them. Or run. Run as fast as you can. I'm sure you can run past a dead end. No problems there, right? But uh, they will turn around one more time. <sighs> and be beg so they could come back. But it might be just too late. Once you cross the dead end, I can't go any further than that. You have to find your way back. And usually, there's no such thing. We're just gonna have to watch them, these people, these cowards, fade into absolute non-existence. <laughs> Slowly and surely. Because what happens uh, when you're off the cliff? Yes, in a cartoon, you can run really far, but you fall anyways. At some point, you'll fall anyways. And uh, a cartoon cartoon style is actually more likely than immediate gravity style because uh in immediate gravity style everyone knows what happens so they wouldn't actually run off a cliff but in a cartoon style you kind of know that there might be a risk attached to this but you will take it anyways because you think there is a bigger risk because there's some big guy chasing you and he doesn't appear to be stupid you know <laughs> whoa Whoa, 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 dude. What are you doing? Why are you coming closer to me? What are you gonna do to me? I say I just... I, I just want to hug, but I don't have hands. <laughs> oh, no. He's a creeper. ...find to much-needed solutions that help us further. An article in Psychology Today, written by senior scientist Gary Klein, explains how being stupid can prevent mistakes from happening. He tells us... What's gonna prevent mistakes is making of mistakes is gonna prevent you from making mistakes. Learning from your mistakes, obviously. Was it a mistake to be banned? I don't even know! I don't even know what it takes to be banned anymore, because everything is bad, apparently, to these people. Everything. There's no, there's no pattern anymore. It got worse, worse, worse to the bottomless pit of insanity. So, I could just fart and get banned. Fart noises. Alright. It's fucking fascinating, dude. Obviously, if I go to real life, but how do I go to real life? Wh when will I be challenged? Because touching grass has to mean something completely different. It's almost like going into a convention and surviving 24 hours or whatever. It's a challenge, but... Honestly, I'm a lazy person, so I will leave. Alright. And that... That meme that Mr. Beast had, like... That's pretty fucking hilarious, right? Who's next to Mr. Beast right now? Because that was a Mr. Beast and PewDiePie combined meme. Survive 24 hours, dude. Who's next to Mr. Beast? H2O. Survive underwater. 24 hours underwater. That's a good one, isn't it? That's a good challenge. Yeah, 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 dude. This is why you don't act stupid. Because you literally run out of fucking air. That's what it takes to be stupid. So, uh, 
Yeah, you can you can get a fried shrimp. Definitely a mermaid right there. Fried shrimp. Eat that. If you're a mermaid, you can survive underwater. I'm not a fucking mermaid, guys. I'm not a fish. If you're a fish, man, you can appear stupid forever, as long as you want. You will have to suck dick a lot, but it's fine. You are a fish, after all. I hope you identify a fish successfully. You know what is gonna fry you? Kebab, blit. Fucking kebab. Story about an experienced employee in a petrochemical plant who couldn't imagine the mistakes that novices would make errors that would cause a shutdown and even dangerous situations he looked only at his work from his perspective after many years of good work novices have to suck dick until you know they realize oh that's how you do it and then you allow them to work all right that's how you do it you don't allow novices to work and have responsibilities but it's very difficult to actually train them. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna ban them when they make mistakes. Very easy, man. And you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. So that's not how you handle things. But it's fine. I know you're stupid. I know everyone's stupid. So do whatever the fuck you want, man. While you're being stupid, that's the only benefit you have. Do whatever the fuck you want. Just please, for the love of God, do a little bit of progress. Put a little bit of care to yourself. Don't wish upon yourself to remain stupid forever. Don't pretend that it has benefits. It has one benefit and it's not priceless. It's ass. All right. It's a stinky ass, but it is a benefit. Experience of doing whatever the fuck you want without the fear of consequences. Oh, wait, that's what a child would do. You have to fear the shit out of your life. Because you know what the consequences are. You know! You watched this video for an hour, congratulations, you know! Not to be stupid. It's that fucking simple, dude. Man, I want to click on my YouTube Rewind so much, but... It's everywhere. Because I re-listen to, to the songs that I've just consumed. Because I successfully consume everything that I created with YouTube Rewind. I don't even know how much I have consumed because people have to first respond and actually care. But I'll make them care, okay? Let's come up with a an interesting way to promote myself because that's the only way I can get attention. Alright, stupidity use power. I was stupid enough to make YouTube Rewind a thing that nobody watches or cares about I got a lot of benefits from that there you go it's the weirdest comment of all time but this is the shit that I have to post on every single video and every single you know 20 comments I might get one view one view I might get all right maybe if I'm lucky all right, this is how you promote yourself. Very good stuff. Still, this employee was responsible for training novices. How could he train them successfully when he couldn't take their perspective? I quote, and that's when I began to think about the advantages of being stupid. It's a role, dude. Role, you just play a role. Okay, how, how, how do these people think in their situations how do you teach them stuff you start from the beginning you just rewind rewind all the principles and teach them things it's not not that difficult and you keep improving yourself of how you teach principles to everyone but uh, you don't have to you know go down all the way to their level no need all right Unless they really asked for it. And it's like, oh, I respect that. If you suck my dick real hard. But being able to strip away experience and knowledge and see the world through the mouth, eyes dude, of a beginner or of anyone making stupid mistakes 
It takes special like skill to dial back expertise and intelligence. Experts notoriously have trouble. I don't give a fuck about your skill, man. I'll treat people with respect. I don't need to appear stupid all the time. Alright. I can appear stupid if I want to, like, you know, tease people. So, is 2 plus 2 equals 5? And they're gonna say no. And I'm gonna say, if there's a person who has a value of 2, and there's another person who has a value of 2, and they come together and they create a, a, a something that has a value of 5, that's just called alchemy. It's not false to say that 2 plus 2 equals 5 sometimes, unfortunately. It's actually quite possible that that happens. You just never thought that that was even possible. Congratulations. And then we shake hands and I stab them in the face to steal their wallet because I'm starving. Taking a novice's perspective, experts often assume everyone knows what they do, that everyone sees what they can see. End quote. Making you see ourselves things? stupid can lead to solutions. For Do example, more research on the internet, dude. Maybe you'll find how how desperate people are just to survive right now. I would be dead by now. I just got uh, angel wings. Angel wings called money from the government. If I didn't have that, I'll just be dead. Also, I have second tier wings, which is called having a mom and having a Mom with a basement. Free basement. No need to pay for that shit. Congratulations. Double wings. There is there's more? Is there more? Well, anyone can pull a plug. I don't own the internet or the food supply. None of these things. But nobody owns that. So consider yourself lucky, man. But uh, that's fine. The two wings, I'm, I'm trying to think of something else, but it's kind of it. of someone lacking knowledge and experience, we can invent ways to help that person. Suppose we want to help elderly generations who don't... Would you? Would you want to help elderly gen generations? I want to help myself. These are the people, very consumable people. So, uh, thank you very much, guys. ...know how to operate a smartphone. And useless. Absolutely useless. They have to prove their worth, man. If you're old, holy fuck, man. You better. I'm not gonna treat you with respect. You still have to earn it. And you should be... It should be very easy for you because you're old. You know, people kind of want to treat you with respect. They'll give you benefits of the doubt all the time. But you gotta do smart things all the time, too. Don't. In that case, Very we simple, must be dude. able to look at such devices. And at the same time, acknowledge that you're going to be dead in like 10 years or something. Fuck me, dude. Probably from another pandemic, because uh, now it's a, a trendy thing to happen these days. So no problems there. Every year we're going to have it. From their perspective, meaning that we must let go of our knowledge and expertise to some extent. Being stupid can also lead to us making overly complicated ideas and situations simple. Often, we make things way more complex than they have to be. Furthermore, people... You're mixing laziness with stupidity, dude. And I will never accept that, dude. Yes, the laziness is also dual. There is smart laziness and stupid laziness. But they're specific he's specific specifically mixing up stupidity with smart laziness. That is ridiculous! Do you, are you, do you fucking listen to yourself, asshole? People Two million to subs, the man! Over the Technically. Simple, also known as the complexity bias. In reality, the simple is often the best. Now fucking the size of my country that I live in, dude. Half. Half of the size. Like, what? Are you kidding me? This guy is allowed to make mistakes like that. And to keep things simple, one needs to remove. The reason why this guy is allowed to make mistakes is because uh, he has never been challenged in his entire life. Like anyone on YouTube to begin with. This is why pity party is going strong, guys. But it, they have never been challenged. 
They are my idols. They will never be challenged. No one is going to defeat them. Oh, wait. It's nighttime. I have to go to sleep. And I still don't know how to fight my demons. So, uh, I'm busy. If there's war going on, I'm just gonna crawl under my bed and hug my demons, okay? Because I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. The non-essential. Being stupid can help simplify complicated things. For example, stupid, stupid, by looking stupid, at the situation stupid, stupid, from the stupid, perspective stupid, of a curious stupid, child. You are but as stupid. Gary Klein mentions, being stupid takes special skill. Like what? Three, being considered. How are you just gonna cut that part? Being considered useless. The benefit number fucking three. Considered useless, man. This is the this is the way that I calm down, right? If I just think about getting banned all the time, it'll fuck me in the ass. Also, I can just watch this thumbnail, but eventually it's gonna run out of steam. It, it kind of just did. I still have my... I have limited amounts of food, guys. My sanity, you know. It's a very fragile thing, as you can tell. An 8th ban, a ninth ban, it just grows exponentially. The insanity. Useless. Again, people who consider you stupid will not expect much of you. A great advantage of this is that the stupid will generally be overlooked, as people won't trust them with a lot of... People are, are overlooking smart people too. Don't pretend. There's some fucking magic trick of being stupid. Holy crap. People just generally don't give a fuck, all right? And if you're smart, they will start giving a fuck to the, to the extent of like, how do we get rid of this person because he makes me feel bad? You know, that's it. I feel bad. I kind of feel uncomfortable right now. You know, my pillow is not comfortable enough. I need a, to buy a new one. That's what's happening, you know? I, I didn't mean to hate you or ban you. I just needed to change my pillow right now. What the fuck? Just because you're uncomfortable, you're immediately changing your pillow? I don't even give a fuck, man. My pillow is like ass. You would see my pillow like you would laugh. Like, what the fuck is that shit that I sleep on? I also sleep on like a... Not even a mattress, like straight up on a couch. On a tilted couch, actually. Like, it looks horrible. It looks like it's it wasn't intended that way. But I kind of designed it that way. And now I just forgot about it. That it looks ridiculous, if you think about it. But, like, it, a little bit of discomfort is not going to kill you, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, obviously, eventually, too much of one thing will start hurting you and you have to consider that for sure like i i'm a, i'm kind of quite a crippled person in so many ways but i'm crippled in so many ways that holy crap please stop and consider that please no i, I really feel like a bomb of youtube like such a big bomb like even mr beast is gonna be like holy shit Am I worth anything whatsoever anymore? Because even I cannot make fireworks like that. Holy fuck is... What the fuck is that? Nuclear explosion? Andrew Tate times 25? Super Ultra Tate? What the fuck is this? I can't wait. <sighs> Tate on steroids, boys. Of responsibility and think their usefulness is lacking. For many, being overlooked is a terrible experience. Who wants to be perceived as useless? Who wants to be seen as a f Even when I act as smart, still perceive it as useless and pathetic. All right, as a punching bag. <laughs> In fact, more likely to be perceived as a punching bag. <laughs> 
Because wait, 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 I can press that button actually! I'm smarter than he is! <laughs> Why do you fucking have a trigger button in inside you? Where the when the once the smart person shows up <laughs> Where do I run? Where do I go? There's a smart person! When when did the nerd beat you up? When was the last time nerd has beaten you up, man? I know bullies are are scary, but a nerd? Holy fuck me! Fuck me in the ass, dude! A nerd shows up and everyone is like, Please ban this guy! I can't take this anymore! He's too smart! What do we do? I'm melting! <laughs> I am melting like sugar, man! He's gonna ban all sugar from the system, man! <laughs> and lick our corpses! <laughs> And make a sugar mask out of it and call them call, call himself Dream 2. Oh my god, what are we gonna do, man? There's a nerd! This is the worst thing that could happen to us. The apocalypse is upon us. A nerd exists on the internet as had erted our channel. He actually dares to be smart! Who's stupid enough to do that?! What the fuck is this shit, man? Oh my god, man. Fool. But as Schopenhauer mentioned, other people's... Are acting stupid. Acting stupid is not being stupid. So he's kind of mixing up a lot of shit, man. Just keep mixing that shit, man. Oh, if you act stupid, though. So being stupid or acting stupid, wh which one? Which one, stupid asshole? Pick one! Talk about one, dude. Don't mix shit together. Like that. Alright. Because there's, there's a big difference between acting stupid and being stupid. Being perceived as stupid. Even for a moment. is just acting. I can do that. Anyone can do that. Alright. You kind of just want to make people laugh, you know. You want to be like, oh... Ooh, oh, oops, I stabbed myself in the face. I'm Mr. Bean now. I'm not threatening at all. But I do have a knife. And I know how to throw it. And then just like, bam! Throw the knife and deal t 10 damage. Where did you get that pyroblast? Well, I have skill. I have 8 spell damage up my ass. Here you go, boys. This is how you do it. Knife throwing opinions are not on the internet for happiness. Furthermore, people seeing us as fools may make us happier as they don't burden us happier. with duties and obligations that may stress us out because they think we cannot carry them out. Again, if we're concerned with how society perceives us, the position of the fool is a curse. But if we don't care about whether or not our surroundings value us, or more specifically, what we can contribute, what use we have for others, then being stupid is a blessing. If you don't want responsibilities, just say no. Do, do we have to go back to ancient principles and talk about consent of all things? Of what you want and what don't want to happen? Just, just tell people. I'll just pretend. I'll just try and, uh, you know, uh, trick them that I'm stupid. And I can't actually do the responsibilities. That's much worse. Now you have lied to them. You have lost their trust. It's really bad. There are very bad consequences for that. I wouldn't choose to do that. Oh, oops. All right. The Taoist story of the crooked tree told by Zhuangzi shows how being useless or considered useless can be beneficial. Once upon a time, a crooked tree stood amidst many straight. I want to give food to someone. I think the smartest person around and the oldest person as well on the list is uh, Mr. Uh T. T. Johns, John, John Stossel. So uh, we, we, we respect the old people who are actually smart. That's fantastic. I don't want to give him a potato. I want to give him something fucking fancy. Watermelon is like super fancy, dude. 
I don't think there's anything fancier than that for an old person. I could give him a baby bottle, though. But it's like, it looks like it's empty. <sighs> I'll give him a kiwi. If you know how to eat a kiwi, congratulations, dude. Yes, it sounds disrespectful. Whoever is going to get watermelon is going to be the greatest person of all time. Will actually survive and everyone else will will have to perish in flames. Is that that's the only food that actually makes you full. I'm now allowed to eat YouTube as my food. No no problems there. I should, uh, you know, have wood as my legacy food. So everyone remembers Wood. So I have wood. I can eat wood if I get banned from YouTube. Just in case, you know. Second tier. Uh, Alright. Let's continue. Trees. Woodcutters refuse to chop... Oh, wood! Hello! Hello, dude! A tree because it was totally useless for... Yeah, wood is totally useless. Continue. Wooden planks. The straight trees, however, they considered useful, so they chopped them down. The uselessness of the crooked tree led to its survival. It eventually became old and large. The straight tree is the first to be cut down. The well of sweet water is the first to be exhausted, said Zhuangzi. Be That's a fair one. He finally said something smart, but he actually had to quote someone else. So yeah. The straight tree, what do you think that is? A slave, a person who just confines, doesn't have an identity, doesn't look unique, or difficult to handle. It just follows orders. An order of following garbage scumbag, dude. A fanboy. Easy. We remove these people from existence. I don't need those people. I'm a tree of magnificent size and power and complexity, dude. But I still have wood. So if if you want wood, uh, I can't give it to you because I'm not allowed. The rule is... I get to keep wood, I can use wood to smash people with it, or entities that I could eat, and uh, uh, I can flex wood, I could be like, look at how much wood I have, I can try and lie to you, of like, I, I will give you wood, but please give me this first, and I'll just take it and, and just not, not give it to anyone, I'm starving, dude, what do I do, man, I have to do something. But now, the rules have changed completely, but technically YouTube is still not food, so it's not like I'm getting something special right now. <sighs> wood tube, by the way, it's, it's wood Being tube. Being considered stupid and therefore of no use may save us from many responsibilities, and thus our lives will be less stressful. We'll have less to worry about, and we're less likely to be used by our surroundings, because we don't have much to give. We won't be chopped down, figuratively speaking, to serve as fuel for the machine, as we're not eligible for it. Yes, people may dislike us, and think less of us, but as Schopenhauer argued, their opinions are not essential. What the fuck, man? But it's like literally secretly being a genius. If you know how to be stupid, that means you definitely know how to be smart. You know. So, you're not appear to be stupid. Either. That's not even the role that you're playing here. You appear to be useless. And dangerous. Alright, harmful even. If you're gonna be picked on, basically. If you're going to be chosen as a target, they will have to go to war, which is exactly my definition. So he is talking about me. Fantastic. Also, hi, you said wood. Hi, I have wood. You want wood? You're not going to get wood, but please give me food. Four, the foundation of civilization. 
Oh, nice. Human beings can be so incredibly foolish that for us to survive, we've got no other option than to develop our intelligence. Only by getting smarter, we can prevent human stupidity from destroying its own species. At least, this concluded Dutch historian Matthijs van Boxel, whose life goal is to research human stupidity. According to Van Boxel, stupidity is key to human intelligence and the development of our civilization. Paradoxically, human stupidity is a daily threat to civilization, but it's also the foundation of our existence. As to not f What the fuck are you mixing two shits together again? <gasps> stupidity is actually a very destructive thing, but it's also the foundation. What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna build a house out of bombs? Is that what you're gonna do, dude? I'm not gonna collapse. But it will keep you on your toes, isn't it? What the fuck are you talking about? How can be destruction be creative? Be a resource you can use? What the fuck? You have one hour of explaining to do it in two minutes? You're just gonna suck a dicky. So, please do suck a dicky. Humanity has been forced to develop its intelligence. Intelligence forced, is nothing man. but the result of our vain efforts to understand our own stupidity, stated Van Boxel in Metro. You Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> intelligence is slow process of improving yourself. Nothing to do with stupidity, technically. You could say, wow, you're less stupid. What the fuck is that, man? No, I'm just progressing. Of course I'm less stupid. It means nothing. The progress is what matters. It's not that you're leaving stupidity alone. And it's never gonna come back. As well. Never. If, you, if you're truly progressing properly. That's the real progress that has to be, you know, tested. You have to be challenged. Whether you gonna become stupid in a challenging position. And uh, the reality is, I was one year in a hospital. Nothing bad happened to me. I'm very lucky to be alive. And I got paid for it. For the experience. So the challenge, uh, you know, success. Successful challenge completed. Easy. You should do that too. Push an old woman. It's that easy. It's the only influential thing that happened in my life. Where I actually got consequences. It's the funniest thing. Everything else has been ignored up to this point. But pushing an old woman? Oh no, can't do that. That's violence, guys. She fell down. I didn't even push her, dude. She fell down and break a leg, man. Well, what the fuck was that? Was I handling a stick? What the fuck was that? I didn't even, didn't even know that that was possible. And you can't call me stupid either. What the fuck is that shit? I literally didn't know, dude. That's not stupid. That's just unaware. It's different. Stupid means like, I know, but I'll still push the fucking old woman. I know she will potentially fall down. That's not that stupid. Are you stupid, dude? Do you want to go back to jail? I don't want to do that. I'm not going to touch an old woman anymore. Fucking touching is violence, apparently. I don't know, man. Now I'm scared. All right? Then it would be stupid. But the first time you do something, you're the first time you make a mistake, you're the smartest person in the universe for doing that. Because you increase your awareness. It's that simple. Not a big deal. All right? Obviously, these mistakes better be small. So they don't fuck you in the ass. All the time. They don't attach you a tag of stupid forever. And there's no way you can justify that. Still pretty good. I mean, if you can come out of anything, it's it's fine. But you have to take s small risks, not huge ones. You gotta care about your feelings and when you're taking a risk, man. Maybe these people like feel, oh, I I'm definitely taking a risk for uh, keeping this person in my Discord. It's the much higher risk than banning him. They definitely calculated the risk. They <laughs> definitely know what's gonna happen next. All right, so I'm going to be banned from YouTube as well when they realize YouTube authorities are going to be like, but people like banning you, so I like banning you too. It's just very simple math, you know. The, 
the most mathematical thing, you know. I, I don't even know how to explain it in mathematical terms. It's like, well, if you, you contain a lot of apples, you must also be an apple. Mm-hmm. That's math. That's logic right there for you guys. Well, he grows apples. He must be an apple. He must be a very good apple. That's called a tree, dude. And the tree has wood. Do you like wood? Please give me apples. I want to eat apples. I don't. I. Don't, I can't create apples right now. But maybe I'll, I'll be able to. I'm starving, dude. Human beings do absolutely. Why? Why are you sending a missile? What the fuck is that? You're gonna thing. ban me too? Often motivated what the by fuck? ideologies and beliefs. Some people risk the existence of their kind because of ideals or national You're pride. not my kind. Hence, some world leaders. My kind is, uh. My kind is right here. Duffy, man. And that's all you can listen to because it has a license. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, very funny, you piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Are willing to use very devastating funny. nuclear weapons as a means of self -defense. We need nuclear weapons to remove licenses, dude. In the destruction of their enemies, but also of what they try to defend themselves. Only Nuclearity weaponarity. As in finding intelligent ways to deal with the nuclear threat of this age. We might overcome this human idiocy. For example, we might find ways to get along and finally ban weapons of mass destruction. And if nuclear war does take place, humanity will be forced to survive a post-apocalyptic world and ideally prevent such devastating stupidity. Yeah, I, I have a nuclear bomb laying around. I hope you're ready for it. Because uh, you're the last person that I'm seeing right now. I mean... You better not leave me a bad impression. You will not survive. The from occurring in but technically, I would want to drop nuclear bomb where he would survive, but would not survive at the same time. <laughs> like there, there, there would be like one percent chance of survival. That's the odds that I love the most, man. That's what I would drop it. So I'm, now I'm just trying to figure out the map of YouTube, and it's like, where do I drop this thing? What do I do, man? First, I still don't know how it works. I'm just testing. But uh, the moment I know is the moment an oopsie happens. Future. So the benefit of being stupid in this case is that it obliges us to become more intelligent so we can better protect ourselves Nuclear from human stupidity voice. in the course of time. Von Boxel claims Technically, I don't want to see death and destruction by any means. Uh, for me, nuclear weapon is uh, poking someone in the back and just running away and being like, <laughs> you, you didn't ignore me? What happened? And I keep poking them. See how long they're going to ignore me. And I'm like, hey, dude. Yeah. And I give them the stats. You have ignored me 127 times. And uh, now instead of poking you, I'm going to try and talk to you. Oh, wait, I can't talk to you because you have been so ignorant and so stupid. What do you have to say for yourself? So I'll take an interview, you know. I'll, I'll, sh I'll shove a microphone in their face. Very simple. Hmm? What do you have to say for yourself? Do you, do you know how long it takes for a stranger to ask for help? To receive help from you? I had to poke you this many times. What do you have to say? What is the message to humanity you want to send? How long you you want to explain yourself? Because I, I can sit here for hours. Just for you, man. That's my nuclear weapon. First I poke and then take interviews. Oh, shit. And then I poop my pants. Because uh, if I do that, then I can eat it uh, very efficiently. If I just shit on the ground, like, Am I gonna eat from the ground? It's garbage. Uh, I do have to clean my pants later, though. So maybe there's a better way to do it. Because uh, I need to eat something, you know. So I'll eat my own poop. 
that no stupidity is the missing link between our ancestors and us, saying that stupidity once forced the ape to develop its brains, as human stupidity is everywhere. However, eating my own poop is a little bit uh, too extreme, so I probably wouldn't do that. But I guess people will think I'm stupid or something. And I don't want to be perceived as stupid. That'd be ridiculous. See, there's nothing stupid about the person who figured out how to eat poop. And, uh, but the, the stupidity is like, but it's poop, so it's probably just going to poison you, you know, you're just you're reintroducing poison into your system. Uh, and you would rather eat sand at that point. So yeah, yeah, you're right, I guess. Poop, poop's not the way. Other people's poop, though. What about other people's poop? Did they give it for free? Cause, <laughs> nah. I don't know. Poop is 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 kind of beyond beyond comprehension. Why would anyone eat poop, man? Even dogs don't eat poop. Maybe for a good reason. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll never know until we try it, am I right? <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know what to do, man. ...and unlikely to disappear, we might want to embrace it and consider it... He really wants the poop, dude. ...a source of progress and a basis to advance as a species. That's me right there. I, tr I tried, guys. Thank you for watching. Wait, where did you get that? Where do you get that, dude? Okay, he was acting this whole time. Thank you for watching. Oh my god. Fantastic, dude. I will not try and offend him, but I did make this video, so... Uh, Thank you for watching as well. It's fucking pissing me off, man. But it calms me down immediately. <sighs> okay, uh, you talk about stupidity and you're stupid. And everyone is stupid all the time. But, uh... It doesn't matter. I don't care, honestly, what you say. Because the most more important thing is... How, how much you're learning. How much you're improving yourself. That's what I care about. I don't care, man. If you're a baby, or if you're a super old person, if you can improve fast enough, then you're very valuable as a person. I'll have a relationship with you, thank you very much. And if you break that relationship, I'll force the relationship onto you. No problems there. I can st uh, I'll do whatever it takes. Because relationship for me, pretty valuable. Not gonna lie. Alright. Alright. So what do we do now? Well, we end the video. It's long enough, right? Let's give a random person more food. What was the last thing to say? Puzzle quest, though. Puzzle Quest just deserves food uh, by default. Fuck off! Okay. Fucking Discord garbage. You never know what bullshit's gonna happen. Bread is not a puzzle, man, to be solved. Fucking pineapple is definitely a puzzle. Here's your puzzle quest. Try and eat pineapple. This is, this is probably what God did, you know? Let's invent some foods, alright? He sits down and is like, Who's the most influential of them all? Of these insects. Alright, you get these these foods. Go figure how to eat them, dude. So, uh, God gives people tastes, alright? I was born gay! Oh, congratulations, what do you eat now? You eat a dick? 
not very not very nutritious, but good for you. Uh, I will stop talking to you now. What everyone else is eating, dude. I don't give a fuck about your sexuality. I need to know how to, where you get food from. Fuck yeah, dude. That's your sexuality now. That's your gender. I identify myself as a breadstick. That's what I want to hear right now. All right. Ban me later, boys. I am a person. The longer you survive, the by keeping me unhinged on your Discord channel, the more I will respect you, and you will be paid considerably, okay? With the ability of survive. Survival ability, all right? As Andrew Tate says, he would do whatever it takes. He will throw all resources just to survive. And I'll take that as a yes, Andrew Tate. I'll take that as a yes. Thank you for your the color of Bugatti. I'll take that. All right, I'll, I'll lick that off your Bugatti. I hope that's tasty. All right, that's where I will start. You will have no colors. Fuck that shit, man. All right, see you guys next time. Please be, please offer me some uh, Discord channels I could uh, harass and attack by posting one-liner principles. The worst thing imaginable that humanity have, has ever seen. It's the worst thing, apparently. Oh, man. <laughs> if I can post all principles, all of them, and slowly attach numbers onto them, you win. You basically win. The best Discord in... I've ever had a chance to be on, okay? All I have to do is collect all Pokemon. There's more and more Pokemon being printed for some reason, but maybe you can collect them all, all right? Well, you don't actually have to collect them all, you have to collect the most, all right? And even that's a stretch. Who gives a fuck? You just need to collect points for keeping me as long as possible on your Discord. And then you're gonna get featured in YouTube Rewind. Who doesn't want that? Everyone complains. I wasn't featured on YouTube Rewind. I was featured on YouTube Rewind, and it sucked ass. Well, stop complaining, asshole. It's not that difficult to feature you on YouTube Rewind. Just open your eyes and ears. When I tell you, what do you have to do? What dick you have to suck, and for how long? It's not that difficult, man. Oh, you wanna suck a titty? You ain't gonna suck a titty, dude. Holy shit, man. That's pathetic. Who would do that? Ridiculous, man. Alright, later, guys. Fucking... People find choices like that? You can suck a titty? What the fuck? Get a life, man. What is wrong with you? You've never touched grass before? Okay, let's suck a titty. Who has... Tiffy. Tiffy. Let's find Tiffy. She's a cow. She inspired the cow meme, so... We're gonna give her some milky. Because that's what cows eat, right? Milk? What do cows drink? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very interesting pun, but... That's all I can offer you. Milk is just as good as butter. If not better. I hope milk will keep you alive, right? Alright, see you guys, uh... Uh, next, uh, hour, because, uh... I upload videos twice a day, apparently. I don't know why. No, this, this will definitely stop. I'm sure I will stop uploading videos. Uh, please stop me, someone. Can someone stop evil right now? I feel titsy bitsy evil. No, but it goes up and down like a wave, and you will not catch me as an evil person. You'll catch me as a fluffy little toy chubby bunny challenge in your mouth. And uh, you will not be able to speak afterwards, because you put a little bit too much in your mouth. But that's okay. You just tried to earn my respect. But it's still too much, dude. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Every challenge is a little bit too far. 
All right. All right, I'll, I'll leave you guys alone. I really, really want to click on a song, but I'll do it in privacy. Because you can always do it yourself. Like, who cares, man? See you guys next time.